Welcome to Galerie de la Rue. Today we have a great pleasure to share a special moment with Yves Arnaud. I understand you were headmaster for most of your life. How did you become an artist? Would you like to share your background with us? Uh, actually, you don't become an artist, never. You are or you are not. You are a collage artist, but started as a painter. What made you choose collage? I'm still a painter. Uh, you know, when, when you practice collage, that does not make you something else. You're still a painter. Lots of painters use collage. Picasso, Brack, and so on. It's a, I started collage uh, just like the Cubism uh, painters, you know, using printed papers. And then I used the uh, printed papers for the images, and then I used printed papers for the colors. And then I was very disappointed because uh, these uh, printed papers fade away very quickly in the sunlight. So uh, one day I was in Paris, uh, I went to see an exhibit and there was this woman called Anna Shannon and she showed collage from tissue papers and oh, I said, that's it, that's the solution, that's what I was looking for. With my papers, I, I get more uh, expression, things I couldn't get uh, with, uh, with a brush, right? And then there's a funny story, it's uh, my wife's fault. Uh, she's uh, American and she took me to Florida where she lived. And I'm in Florida, there's a, uh, I used to work outside the house, but there's a lot of wind and uh, I had problems with my papers flying all over <laughs> the place. And one day I was so mad by the wind, I, I got the papers and glued the papers on a piece of cardboard. And uh, my wife said, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so that's, it's not how collage started, but it's a funny story about uh... What are the influences and the sources of your inspiration for your artwork? Uh, what makes your collage different from other artists? The only influence I have is from my eye. It's, uh, I use my eyes, that's all. I just look around. And uh, my wife again took me to so many places all over the world, especially in America, where we went to Yellowstone and so on. And we went to Hawaii uh, and uh, I was so impressed by what I saw. That's my inspiration. And, but I don't like the word inspiration, because uh, when you say inspiration, it's uh, as if something was coming down into your head from above. No, that's stupid. Right. Just use your eyes, open your eyes. You've got everything around you. You call yourself a painter without a brush. How does your personality reflect in your artwork? I don't know, because uh, well, perhaps it doesn't show, but I'm very shy. I, I don't like to be on stage. And, uh, and today it's pretty difficult for me. Uh, so that's why I'm trying to, to joke more than <laughs> to hide myself. How would you describe your artistic process and approach? I, I would use the word experiment. Experiment uh, everything. And uh, it's been a, a long process to, to master the process of transferring rust onto paper. Slowly but surely, I started working with the, the, the tissue papers and then I started um, painting these papers and uh, that's what I call my, uh, my cooking uh, preparation for papers. You know, papers before I used them on, on the canvas, I, they go through my kitchen. It's a fantastic process because there I paint, I rest the papers and so on. But anyway, anything that can leave a sign on a surface is painting. Looking at your artwork, there is probably thousands of pieces of uh, paper glued to the canvas. So how and when do you know it's finished? Uh... Yeah, you came to my studio once or twice, I don't remember, 
Uh, perhaps you remember in my studio, there's uh, in the corner of the studio, there's a knob chair. And uh, I very often sit in the armchair and look at what I've done. And sometimes I, I can spend half a day sitting there and looking at my work. And that's where I decide when it's finished or not. If I feel like getting up, taking another piece of paper, glue it, and so it's not finished. But when I keep seated for a long time, look at it, and then all of a sudden I, I feel it, it's finished. Today I want to ask you, is there any artwork here you feel most proud of? Actually, I should answer, the one I like, like best is the one I've just finished, attachment with it, it's this one. That's when my wife and I went uh, hiking in Hawaii, where there's huge volcano crater. You, you could hide Manhattan in it. And I was so impressed there that when I came back to my studio, I started this collage. Not, not using a picture or, a, no, no, just the impression I still had inside me. But at the same time, I'm very happy you sold it. Yes. <laughs> why we chose, or why Eve chose your gallery, the fact that you yourself are an artist uh, created a completely different relationship. And very often when you go to see a gallery, it, uh, art is material, it's economic, it's a question of earning money. And with you, there was a very huge difference. You yourself are passionate, you're an artist, and, and it created a completely different relationship and created a desire to work with you. And I think that was a very, very important element in choosing uh, the gallery here also. And also, I, I, I personally, but Eve also, we greatly appreciated the fact that you have this international background and you have the same openness that we have as far as different cultures are concerned, as far as being able to go and experience different things and just be open with people and to share and we felt that possibility with you. So that was one of the main reasons why we chose the gallery. Uh, in fact, Galerie de la Rue is the first uh, contemporary gallery in this region. I mean, western suburb of Paris. Strongly feel I have a mission to promote contemporary art in this region.